Hey Cougs, welcome back. Hope you're having a good start to the semester. We're your host, Omar Mirza. And Alyssa Espinosa, bringing you the latest on UH Entertainment. As some of us may know, last Wednesday was the beginning of New York Fashion Week, a week packed with watching our fave luxury brands put out some chic and sometimes questionable fashion statements. We even saw the debut of some influencers on the runway. Much to our dismay, one such debut was Paige Neiman. Who is she, you may ask? She's an influencer who just looks like Ariana Grande. The TikTok influencer with 10 million followers was seen stomping the runway at the Creator Inc. X Bossy show, which, during the same show, was also crashed by an audience member storming the runway. Yikes. Talk about negative publicity. Continuing with disappointing endings, last week, Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner announced their plans to separate. Quote, the marriage is irretrievably broken, end quote. Joe comments immediately after filing for divorce earlier this month. However, after trying to maintain some silence, Joe then commented during a show this week saying, quote, if you don't hear it from these lips, don't believe it, okay? End quote. Fans of both stars are equally shook, not entirely sure where this comment could have come from. Not much has been said as to why the pair decided to split or what's to happen to the former couple's children. A comment earlier this week during an interview, Sophie states, quote, we have mutually decided to amicably end our marriage, end quote. Best of luck to both stars and whatever may come after. Let's hope you don't live under a rock and have heard of the three-time Grammy award-winning singer Olivia Rodrigo. Well, last Friday, she released her newest album, Guts, which featured wild songs like Vampire and Bad Idea, right? She wrote in her Instagram post, quote, I really hope you dig these new songs. Lots and lots of love forever and ever, end quote. And I just wished she dug a really deep hole and threw this entire album into it. Despite what Omar thinks, it has been highly rated by critics and has gotten an even higher rating than her first album, Sour, by Metacritic. I would say that this album is definitely worth a listen. It's perfect for teenage girls in their 20s. Speaking of Miss Olivia, she also performed at the 2023 VMAs on Tuesday along with Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Doja Cat, Carol G, and Shakira. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I thought something crazy would go down between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, but they decided to keep things professional. Nonetheless, Taylor Swift swept the VMAs with a record win of nine awards, including the four major categories, Artist of the Year, Video of the Year, Album of the Year, and Song of the Year. Ice Spice took home the VMA for Best New Artist, and Selena Gomez and Rayma made history by taking home a VMA for the newly added category, Best Afro Beats, with her hit song, Calm Down. Unfortunately, that's all we have for you today, Cougs. We are your hosts, Alyssa Espinosa. And Omar Mirza. And you've just enjoyed an episode of At UH Entertainment. Catch you next time.